In this video, we're going to learn how to evaluate a logarithm. Now, a logarithm log base b of x, which we'll call y, is the exponent to which you raise the number b to get a. So, to put that in perspective, you can say that log base b of x, which is equal to y, is the same as b to the y powers equal to x. So oftentimes I call this a logarithmic form and this an exponential form for the same thing. And the way you read this expression is log base b of x. So let's practice rewriting a few exponential statements in logarithmic form. So if we have ten, 100 is equal to 10 squared, the logarithm is equal to that exponent. So when we write the log, we'll say log base 10 is of 100 is equal to 2. Because the logarithm is equal to the exponent, and the base of your logarithm is the number being raised to that exponent to get the inside number. You can also see here that we had b, which was 10. We put that in the base of our log. The power, y here, is what we set it equal to. And then the number is equal to 100. Now it goes into the inside of the logarithm. Let's try this again. We have 81 is equal to 3 to the fourth. Again, your logarithm is equal to that power. So we say log base 3 of 81 is equal to 4. Now, if you happen to have a variable in there, it still all works the same. The logarithm will be equal to that exponent. So you'll have log base 6 of a plus 1 is equal to 8. You'll often notice that the base of the exponential expression is also the base of your logarithmic expression. And with 5 to the x, this can be rewritten as log base 5 of 3,125 is equal to your exponent x. So that's how you rewrite uh, an equation in logarithmic form. Now, we're going to use this technique when we go to solve these problems here. Because we're going to evaluate each logarithm. Now before I get started, I want to talk about what a common logarithm is. It's a logarithm of base 10, so you can write a, co a common logarithm, log base 10 of x, simply as just log of x. So the situation I had over here with log base 10 of 100 is equal to 2. We can rewrite as log 100 is equal to 2. And you should find that key on your calculator, and you can plug in log 100, and it should equal 2. But now, if I wanted to evaluate log base 2, of 16, what is that equal to? Well, I'll rewrite the statement equal to x. And then I'll write this in exponential form as the question 2 to that exponent should equal 16. So in order to figure this out, I need to figure out what power do you raise 2 to to get 16? Well, you can raise 2 to the 4th power to get 16. So by this statement right here, x should equal 4. Since the bases match, the powers should be equal. So if we know that x is 4, that means that log base 2 of 16 should equal 4. So 4 is the exponent you raise 2 to to get 16. So if you ask yourself, what power do you raise 5 to to get 125, your question becomes 5 to what power is 125? Well, 125 is also known as 5 to the third power. So since the bases match and they're equal, the powers must be equal to each other. So x equals 3. So that power you're trying to raise the log to is 3. 
Now, for log base 8 of 32, it may not be as obvious as what that power is. So let's break down what this means. We're looking for what power do we raise 8 to to get 32. Now, 32 is not a power of 8, but both of these numbers are powers of 2. So I can rewrite 8 as 2 to the third power to the x, and 32 as 2 to the fifth power. And now I have the statement 2 to the 3x is equal to 2 to the fifth. So what I can say here is that 3x is equal to 5, since those bases now match. And x is equal to 5 thirds. So that tells me that the power I raise 8 to to get 32 is 5 thirds. So log base 8 of 32 is 5 thirds. Now for log base 64 of 1 over 32, I'm going to do the same process. I'm looking for what power do you raise 64 to to get 1 over 32. Both 64 and 32 are powers of 2. So 64 can be rewritten as 2 to the 6th to the x. And 1 over 32 can be rewritten as 1 over 2 to the 5th. So this statement is 2 to the 6x is equal to 2, bring that to the numerator, to the negative 5th. So that tells me that 6x is equal to negative 5, and x is equal to negative 5, 6. So the power you raise 64 to to get 1 over 32 is negative 5, 6. So this log base 64 of 1 32nd is equal to negative 5, 6. Now let's look at two unique situations. First, we have log base 5 of negative 25. The question here is 5 to what power is equal to negative 25? And the one problem here is that exponential expressions cannot equal negative numbers. So 5 to the x would never equal negative 25, meaning there is no such power that 5 can be raised to to equal negative 25. So this is undefined. Whenever you have a negative within a logarithm, this will always be the case. Now, logs can equal negative numbers, but you'll never find a negative within a logarithmic expression. And lastly, we have log of 10,000. What does this equal? Well, we weren't given a base, so we can assume this is a common logarithm. So I am dealing with log base 10 of 10,000. So the question becomes, what does 10 have to be raised to to give me 10,000? 10,000 can also be written as 10 to the fourth power, because there are four zeros there. It's a quick way to know which power of 10 you're dealing with which means that x is equal to 4. So 4 is the power you raise 10 to to get 10,000. So log of 10,000 is equal to 4. And that is how you evaluate a logarithm.